so here is a very interesting section in bootstrap and what it does is it helps you to theme team your app some people might have been asking while taking this uh, course why can't i just um change the colors for instance uh, you could do bg danger bootstrap comes with about seven to eight default colors what if you needed a new type of color you understand you wanted to fashion craft your own new type of color for instance i call it bg the partner the partner so it's a new type of color or what if you want to you don't like the the, the red let's say primary is blue what if you don't like the, the shade of blue you want to come up with your own blue shade you understand how do you do that and um, you want it you want to change it once and it will affect all the buttons or uh, all the buttons and everywhere the bg blue is used or, or whatever primary everywhere there is primary it will change the colors throughout so let me show you how to do that remember that when we first started our uh, installation we just dumped the files here we just dumped the css files we copied and pasted and that that was it and um same thing here we just dumped these files here so there is a problem uh what if we need we, if we want to team this site it's called timmy let me show you the spelling look at it teaming if we want to team our bootstrap and create our own custom design uh, we would have to use node modules to download our bootstrap so go to nodejs.com nodejs.org sorry nodejs.org uh, in case you don't already have nodejs if you already have it you don't need to download it download any version i usually take the uh, the older version which is 8.11 if you take the newer version you might see errors so download it install it and that's all you have to ever do uh, once you've done that uh, we need to come to bootstrap download section there are many ways to download bootstrap but what we're looking for is uh, the npm install bootstrap we'll copy this then we need to open a command prompt on our, on the folder of our application so if we go to our uh, wherever your bootstrap folder is saved here hold the shift key right click on empty space and uh, it will show you this option to um, open command prompt window here that's what we want to do so um, if you click on it it will open depending on the command prompt you are using if you're using node.js or whatever it's okay this one powershell comes with my windows 10 Otherwise, I can show you another example where I can just simply uh, search for Node.js. Once you have installed Node.js, you can search for it. Just type Node. Once you type Node, it opens up. This is the one you use. Don't click on this one. This is the one you will use. Node command prompt window. That's what we need. And it opens up. I can close the PowerShell. So now Node command prompt window has opened. We can navigate it to this page. So uh, I want to copy this copy then um, it's still opening though when it has finished opening to tell it this address where it is so it, maybe yours will open fast or take a few seconds so if yours doesn't open just type anything on your keyboard it will open immediately so you type CD which is changed directly then you right click to paste the path to your folder wherever it is hit enter so we are now in this folder we can now run this uh, um, guide or this npm install uh, bootstrap so we can run it right click npm install bootstrap enter so you chill uh, depending on the speed of your internet this could take between two minutes to ten minutes my internet is fairly good so i expect it to take less than two minutes one thing you should pay attention to is your folder structure here once it starts installing it, so it's going to create a new folder called node modules and install bootstrap inside it all right you see the folder is created and it, it is still installing bootstrap look at bootstrap it has installed everything we need in bootstrap so far we can go and check whether it has it is done so it is done of course um it's going to pull up all these errors forget it it doesn't matter as long as bootstrap installs you're good to go uh it installs the full bootstrap look at what we're looking for this is where what we're looking for is all right so i'll stop this video here see you in the next video where we'll go in and um, start using uh, our bootstrap thank you